Our incredible lead is way out of this world, 390 light years away, truth be told. For setting one light year is identical to six trillion miles. In mankind's tenacious quest for unwinding the secrets of the universe, we've embarked on a mission that goes past time itself, looking for replies to age-old inquiries woven into the texture of presence. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unblinking eye, has, as of late, distinguished a brief look at a structure originating before the introduction of stars. This heavenly item gave off an impression of being more ancient than the actual universe, raising a greater number of inquiries than it responds to. How should a design exist that originates before our universe? Or is the theory of how things came to be at fault? Join us as we embark on an odyssey, guided by the discoveries of the James Webb Telescope. The mysteries of a 13.8 billion-year-old construction await, and the journey to unwind these enormous secrets has only just begun. In a far-off corner of the universe, around 200 light-years away, an old star called HD 14283 lives near the Libra constellation. This heavenly explorer moves energetically through space, offering fascinating glimpses into its turbulent past. Exactly 10 billion years ago, during a time when our Milky Way was still in its infancy, it ingested a dwarf system that once called it home. But what truly piques our cosmic interest in H14283 isn't just its rapid process. It's its amazing age. Among the divine entities we've observed, it remains one of the oldest, earning the charming moniker Methuselah star, likened to the scriptural figure Methuselah, who legend has it lived for 969 years. Initially estimated to be a stunning 16 billion years old, the most recent estimates suggest a somewhat younger age of 14.46 billion years, with a margin of error of 0.8 billion years. This revelation about its age perplexed stargazers. After all, the age of the universe, reasoned from the cosmic microwave background, drifts around 13.8 billion years. This problem raised significant questions about the star's age, the universe's age, and even the accuracy of our dating methods. Let's break it down. Sorting out the time of heavenly objects can be a genuine riddle. Take stars, for example, like the sun. They're like timeless lights, maintaining their sparkle, temperature, and size for billions of years, making them interesting to age date. Space experts use changes in brightness and color as clues, coordinating these with models predicting how stars change over time. One age giveaway is how fast a star whirls like a wheel, slowing down over time. Stars do this too. By comparing the rotational speeds of stars at different ages, cosmologists have figured out a neat trick called geochronology. Stars also spill their age secrets through magnetic chatter, flares and eruptions of energy on a star's surface resemble a star's energetic excitement. Astronomers, being the space detectives they are, use advanced methods like astroseismology. It's like listening in on a star's inner conversations, paying attention to vibrations caused by waves traveling through its interior. These vibrations reveal the star's age. For example, applying this cosmic snooping, space experts clock the sun at 4.58 billion years. Now back to Methuselah's star. The ancient emanation around it isn't just arbitrary. Space experts tagged it with an advanced age by looking at its cosmic area. Stars can be categorized into groups based on how much bling, or heavy elements like iron, they have. Our sun is somewhat of a metalhead, belonging to population one stars. Methuselah star, on the other hand, is like an outdated hero from population two, rocking fewer heavy elements. It's the cosmic wink out that assists cosmologists in playing astronomical archaeologists unraveling the age stories of these divine beings. Now, imagine a gathering of stars, the hypothetical population three, which researchers believe may be the universe's rarest jewels. While they're still hiding behind the curtain and haven't yet appeared in our telescope spotlight, astronomers suspect these stars may be the heroes of creation, containing practically no heavy elements. To grasp the cosmic arrangement, we should rewind to the universe's early days after the Big Bang. Picture an infinite kitchen filled primarily with hydrogen and helium, the universe's fundamental ingredients, around 92% hydrogen and 8% helium, or if we weigh them generally, 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. In this cosmic orchestra, the first performers on stage were the population three stars. They were huge and hot, 
burning their fuel quickly, changing hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. When these early cosmic giants detonated, they spread these heavy elements into the vast expanse. In line were the population two stars, forming a bit later but still in the universe's early days. Their original materials were loaded down with heavy elements, especially iron. Many of them went through their celestial life cycles, bursting into supernovae and adding more heavy elements to the universal mix. Finally, the population one stars, including our sun, arose as cosmic latecomers, forming from advanced gas clouds blending with leftovers from the earlier population two stars. Now, the central question, does the cosmic story throw an infinite curve at the theory of the prehistoric cosmic detonation? It's a head scratcher. But here's the twist. There's a 70% chance that Methusa star, the old divine drifter, could be somewhere between 13.66 billion years old, lining up with the age of the universe. There's also a 30% chance that this ancient divine drifter's age is playing outside the cosmic rulebook. Similarly, there's a 15% chance it's not quite as fresh, but even younger. Imagine rolling a standard six-sided die and hoping for that tricky six. Statistically possible, right? No matter what these cosmic curves throw at us, what's certain is that Methusa star isn't just an enormous veteran. It's the granddaddy of stars. We've managed to give it an age tag that's darn accurate. Now, here's where it gets mind-boggling. Rather than scratching our heads about where Methusa star could be two or three billion years older than its cosmic neighbors, let's flip the astronomical script. What if the universe itself isn't as young as we once thought? Understanding 13.8 billion years is like trying to grasp the immensity of space itself. If we turn the whole history of the universe into a cosmic calendar, with the Big Bang as the most tremendous New Year's fireworks, Earth wouldn't even join the Divine Slam until the last seconds of December 31st human recorded history. That's just a blip in time, covering merely the last 10 seconds. Our cosmic investigators determine the universe's age by looking at ancient starlight, born a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. As the universe expands, it gives this light a cosmic makeover known as redshift. Crunching the numbers on both distance and expansion, researchers declared an all-universal period of 13.8 billion years. But hang on, because the cosmic situation begins to get interesting. An infinite murmur from the University of Ottawa suggests the universe may be a whopping 26.7 billion years old. Professor Rinder Gupta gets a rare hypothesis from 1929, created by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, and it's stirring up our cosmic understanding. This hypothesis throws a curve suggesting that as light particles, photons, travel across the boundlessness of space and time, they lose some of their energy. Even though this thought doesn't perfectly align with what we've seen through our telescopes, Gupta proposes a cosmic compromise. He suggests we can mix this hypothesis with our current understanding of an expanding universe, creating a kind of hybrid explanation for the redshift phenomenon. Now, secure your safety belts. Changing the universe's age to an incredible 26.7 billion years is no small feat Gupta adds one more twist to the enormous mix by combining the drained light hypothesis with the idea of evolving coupling constants, a brainchild of theoretical physicist Paul Durr. This concept suggests that how particles interact may have changed over time. And hey, scientists have a history of tweaking the cosmic clock. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was only a simple 2 billion years old. We've come a long way since then, refining our cosmic math, and multiplying the universe's age is like taking a giant leap in our vast understanding. But let's pause for a second. Whether this new viewpoint becomes the astronomical norm is still up in the stars. Regardless of whether mankind's recorded history is a simple blip of 10 or 5 seconds in the grand plan of the universe, one thing's clear, the universe is a motherload of old miracles and endless inspiration. Looking to our cosmic backyard, the Milky Way, there's a dazzling cosmic tango at play. Recent estimates hint that stars on the edges of our galaxy are swaggering their stuff in slow motion compared to their partners in other galaxies. What's the cosmic scoop? Well, there are several theories, and one murmur is that our Milky Way may be running low on an invisible, enormous fixing called dark matter. This slippery substance affects the gravitational dance of heavenly objects. There's a cosmic puzzle involving dark matter, the mysterious substance we can't see but seems to play a gravitational tug of war in the universe. 
One possibility shaking our cosmic understanding is that maybe we've been measuring dark matter wrong. Our universal compass may be pointing off course. Here's where the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite steps into the cosmic spotlight. It's like our cosmic analyst giving complex insights into the dance of nearly two billion stars in our Milky Way. Think of it as a cosmic movement sample. The satellite's precise measurements have led astronomers to reconsider their grand cosmic notes. Stars at the outer edges of our Milky Way seem to be taking it slow, testing our old assumptions about their speeds. How do star speeds spill the cosmic beans about a galaxy's mass? It's like checking the size of a group by how fast people are moving. Armed with Gaia's data, space experts estimated the combined weight of our galaxy's gas, dust, stars, and that elusive dark matter to be around 200 billion times the mass of our sun. It sounds like an astronomical heavyweight, but here's the twist. It's multiple times smaller than we previously thought. One theory to solve this cosmic conundrum suggests we may have been a bit clumsy with our dark matter estimates. Maybe there's less dark matter out there than we once thought. But hang on, measuring a galaxy is like trying the impossible. It's famously tricky. The data could have a couple of characteristics, or our cosmic measuring tape might need some adjustments. Still, other research teams have joined the cosmic investigation, and they all seem to be murmuring the same universal tune. If this grand discovery holds, it's like opening a new chapter in our grand physics textbook. A twist that may make us reconsider not just our own Milky Way, but every shiny corner of the universe. As Stacy McCarr, a space expert at Case Western Reserve University, puts it, this could be a cosmic game changer. Going back on a cosmic journey to the 1970s, when astronomer Vera Rubin and her vast team embarked on a celestial mission, their goal was to study how stars moved in different galaxies. The cosmic playbook suggested that stars on the edges of a galaxy should be cosmic dawdlers, compared to the zippy stars closer to the center, like how Neptune takes its time circling the sun, while Mercury is the infinite speedster. Here's where the unexpected developments Rubin and her stargazing crew uncovered an astronomical shock. Stars at the far reaches of galaxies were swaggering their stuff at nearly the same speed as the ones closer to the cosmic dance floor. Imagine a cosmic disco where everyone, regardless of where they are, is moving to the same beat. This cosmic revelation alluded to the presence of something puzzling and hidden, dark matter the invisible heavyweight champion that forms enormous halos around galaxies. Consider early space experts like Copernicus and Kepler. We've learned a lot since then, but we're still the novices, gazing wide-eyed at astronomical miracles, trying to solve the universe's mysteries. Our Earth is like a small island in the vast ocean of space, whirling around the sun, surrounded by countless stars in our tiny galaxy. Our quest for meaning among the stars is the heart of scientific exploration. Even when answers surprise us, this curiosity keeps us traveling deeper into the universe. It's an endless journey where each response brings new questions, ensuring our grand investigation never stops. The universe continues to surprise us with its immensity and complexity. Every discovery leads us deeper into the intricate tapestry of astronomical history, unveiling the fundamental laws that govern our world. Recent studies have shown that galaxies are not just isolated entities, but are interconnected through a complex web of dark matter and gravitational forces. This understanding leads us to rethink our models of galaxy formation and evolution. One of the most fascinating aspects of cosmic investigation is the concept of gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by some of the most extreme events known to humankind, like merging black holes or neutron stars. First detected in 2015, these waves offer a new way of observing the universe, providing insights that traditional telescopes might miss. They open a window into phenomena that are invisible to electromagnetic radiation, allowing astronomers to piece together events from the early universe and enhancing our understanding of the fundamental forces at play. Moreover, scientists are also exploring exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system. The discovery of potentially habitable worlds raises profound questions about the possibility of life beyond Earth. Techniques like transit photometry and radial velocity measurements help identify these distant planets, revealing a variety of planetary systems that challenge our assumptions of how solar systems should form. 
Some of these exoplanets dwell in their star's habitable zone, where conditions might be ideal for liquid water, a key element for life as we know it. As we probe further into the universe, the role of artificial intelligence in analyzing vast amounts of data becomes increasingly important. AI algorithms can detect patterns and anomalies in celestial light curves, leading to the discovery of new celestial bodies and phenomena at a speed previously unimaginable. This partnership between human intuition and machine learning propels us into an era of remarkable cosmic understanding.